I'm going to show you how to do some whittling and coal burning to make a spoon. This is one I did previously on uh, another trip and I've got uh, various shapes and sizes here that I've done. You can also use it this method to do uh, larger bowls uh, like this one or here's another one which I have done uh, previously as well. The whittling will be to make the handle of the spoon and to carve around the bowl and the bowl itself will be made with a coal burning process that I'll uh, go ahead and show you. I do apologize for some of the video quality. I had some issues with the uh, autofocus on it, but uh, I think it comes out well enough that you'll be able to get a good idea of how to do it and uh, be able to knock one of these off yourself. Um, if you're wondering about the location, I was in Algonquin Park and I was on Lac La Vielle on the island site there. This was in 2010 on a uh, solo eight day trip that I did. So uh, let's go ahead and roll that footage. What I have here is a piece of wood not too many knots in it and uh, not many uh, not much in the way of cracks on the end which is what you want if there is one you're just going to split right down it so that's what we're going to do right here so we're going to take the knife here and we'll uh, split this bed. Just level it out a little bit here. Now this is going to be the base of it. Yeah, see there's a knot right here. That's why you don't want too many of them. I'm going to be shortening it up. I'll probably be cutting it in half here almost. But having a little handle, having a little longer gives me a little more to work with main thing you want to do is level out this part right here and this is going to be the uh, this is where you're going to make the actual spoon right here so what we want to do is we want to kind of pick your center and just kind of get something started here like that now we're not trying to carve out the bowl this is just to get something started. There we go. All right, so now what we do is we take a, an ash or a coal and we put a coal in here and we blow on that and we're gonna burn this out. Now, as you can see here, but it's starting to uh, it's starting to create a little divot in here, and you want to keep it. Right now, you got kind of ash right here, and you want to keep that because that's going to help it keep burning. But just to show you, if I break that away, you can kind of work at it here, and it kind of breaks away all the loose stuff. And you can see that already. We're starting to get a little bit of a bowl here and now you don't want to be working in a way like that just like I did because you, if you want whenever you want to keep going it um, it's easier for it to uh, to start but if it starts burning too much to one side because it's harder to start once you peel all that away if it starts burning too much one side then you kind of take that away and it'll take longer for this to to keep burning and then the rest will start burning so you can control the burn by removing the coal or the dark ash here uh, from the side that you want to stop it burning from. So we're going to put another coal in there and proceed. You want to feel on the bottom too that it's not getting too hot because you want to make sure you don't burn all the way through. So 
so I keep my finger underneath it. See, we've got a nice little bowl here. Um, any little kind of where you can see it shining there. I want to work that out. And now, what you want to do is you just carve around the bowl and, and carve out the, uh, the spoon. And I'm going to do that right now. All right, now this is a bit of a long process, so I'm just gonna carry on here. The bowl is starting to take shape. What I usually do is I'll um, take it and go down on a little bit of an angle here, like this, and I'll bring that down actually a little bit more, like so. This gives it a nicer finish, and you'll see whenever I'm done. Um, you wanna keep feeling Make sure that the thickness is right. Uh, you don't go too uh, you don't go too deep, but you also don't want it too thick. It just won't look right at the end. Um, getting the bowl is the hardest part. Getting the bowl done, but uh, it's starting to take form here. edges off here. Yeah. Now the tricky part is to uh, work back up the handle here and uh, to work around the, uh, the other side of the bowl. And I just kind of hold on to the bowl here with my thumb. Make sure everything, all your fingers are behind the knife here. And just kind of dig in and peel back. It's easier to go against a rock like this. And just, I'm sure there's a better technique in the whittling world than this, but I just, and then break it. Break it down like that. And dig it in break it away. Like that. There we go. So we're getting there. And we'll just continue doing that and I'll do it on the other side as well. Now I don't want to go too thin all the way up. What I like to do is I actually like to have it flare out a little bit, so I like it to go in and then kind of come back out a little bit to get the little bulbous end. Um, and I'll show you again what I'm talking about once I'm done. I'm just going to continue on using that same sort of technique. Where I'm just kind of digging in and then pulling it away like that, all the way around. Now I'm going to go ahead and shorten up the handle here to about the size I'm going to want, and I'll just show you how you do that. You just take deep gouges and just go all the way around doing so. You also really want to have a nice sharp knife for this. This knife is shaving sharp. 
it was anyway. It's probably pretty close to shaving sharp now, but... So there we go. So that's going to be about the length that I'll be uh, looking for whenever I'm done. Now the other thing I do is, from here, can't really see what I'm doing here. From here, I like to uh, angle the handle down a little bit. So the whole thing gives a nice little contour. Where if you angle the spoon down a little bit and then the handle down a little bit, it gives it that familiar look that most spoons have. Just taking it and then taking little bits here off. It's almost like a, taking a fire stick. And uh, I don't know if this is how you actually do it in whittling. I'm completely self-taught, so I don't know if this is the right technique or what. But And then once you do that, then you just take all those little pieces. much done. Yeah, I'll, try, I'll show you tomorrow so you can see it in the light, but um, that's basically it right there. Got a little bit of an angle on both sides here. Um, I use one of these for my coffee every day. I've got it uh, in the coffee can. They're really quite functional. Um, now they have, what you can do as well is you can partially split a, uh, another piece of wood here and then put in it like that and then take that and then just heat it gently over the fire and it's going to give it a little extra color and it'll um, harden it up a little bit as well so I'll show you what that looks like there's a the finished product you can see that whenever you uh, burn it all you do is you just uh, kind of roast it like a marshmallow and it uh, really brings out the green of the wood really beautifully. This piece of wood had particularly nice grain. It also burns off the little burrs that were left over from the whittling. So here it is. This is the the bowl that uh, I burned out. And like I was saying, you can actually make this quite deep. You can make these into like a, a actual large bowl. And then you uh, you burn it, or you just char it very lightly over the fire. And it, uh, that gives it a little strength, and it really brings out the, uh, you know, where you've been carving, and it brings out the grain of the wood quite nicely. Mm -hmm.